So today I'm talking about a P0174 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0174 code? Well, it's a system to lean bank two. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called oxygen sensors and they're located down the exhaust and they do two things. And the first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the computer uses that information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. But when you get this P0174 code, the bank two sensor one O2 sensor is reporting back to the computer that bank two is running in a lean condition, which means that there's more air than fuel than should be is going into bank two side of the engine that the air fuel ratio mixture is off and so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why but when you have a v6 or v8 engine the engine is going to have two banks bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder and the opposite of that is always bank two so if you google like your engine and like cylinder location or firing order or something like that and you locate the number one cylinder on that engine since there is differences then that side of the engine is going to be bank one and the opposite of that is going to be bank two and one thing to note about this P0174 code is that it can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot sometimes since it could be caused by so many different things. I'm going to go over how you could troubleshoot it, how you can narrow down what the problem is, and how to go about approaching this code. Also, if you're getting any other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because that can help point you to what the problem is. But just keep in mind that this code can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot sometimes. And so the first thing about this code is that it's pointing to bank two side of the engine. But if you're also getting bank one lean codes, for example, if you also got like a P0171 system two lean bank one, then that's going to point to something that would affect the whole engine. And things that would affect the whole engine would be something like a bad sensor, a clogged up intake, like a dirty air filter or a clogged exhaust, like a bad catalytic converter or a bad fuel pump that's weak, a clogged up fuel filter, possibly a vacuum leak, something like that. But basically, if you're getting lean codes on both sides of the engine, then that's going to point to something that would affect the whole engine. But if you're only getting bank two lean codes, then that's going to point to something that would only affect bank two. So that would be something like a bad O2 sensor, a bad injector, something along those lines. And so if you are only getting a P0174 code and there's no lean codes on bank one, the first thing I would do is I go test that bank two sensor one O2 sensor and be sure that it's good. Because basically if that bank two sensor one O2 sensor, if it's gone bad, it might just be reporting bad information back to the computer. And so the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't. And the basics of what's going on with these O2 sensors is that there's going to be two on each bank of the engine. Sometimes there could be three, but usually there's two. Sensor one is going to be located before the catalytic converter. It's also called the upstream O2 sensor. And sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it. And it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. And the sensor that's reporting this P0174 code to the computer is going to be this bank two sensor one O2 sensor. So the first thing I would do is I go test that sensor and be sure that's good and that's working the way it should be. There's some good videos on how to go about testing these sensors. I've made videos on that. I'll put a link to that down in the description box below if you want to go check that out. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad bank two sensor one O2 sensor. The next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel injector on bank two side of the engine. One of those fuel injectors might have just gone bad and just causing problems. Again, usually if that does happen, you'll be getting other codes. For example, if you also got like a P0302, cylinder two misfire detected, then in that case, it's a good idea to go check out that fuel injector on cylinder number two and be sure it's working correctly. You can also check the coil, be sure you're getting fire going to that cylinder, things along these lines. There's some different ways to go about testing these fuel injectors. You can swap it out with a known good cylinder that you know is working correctly and see if the problem follows. You can also use the multimeter to check the small coil inside of there to be sure that's good. Again, I made videos on this. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel injector on bank two side of the engine. And so if you're not getting any other codes or if you can't figure out which cylinders are running lean or anything like this, you don't know which ones it is. You don't know if it's all the cylinders on bank two or just one and that's having the problem. You can remove the spark plugs one at a time and then match them to a spark plug burn chart. And that'll tell you how each cylinder is burning because how the spark plug is burning is going to tell you if that cylinder is running rich, if it's running lean or if it's running the way it should be. So basically, if you can't figure out which cylinders are having a problem, if it's all a bank two or if it's just one cylinder on bank two that's having the problem, then you can remove the spark plugs one at a time, match them to a spark plug burn chart, which will point you to which ones are running lean. And then you can just focus in on those cylinders. So the next things I'm going to be talking about is going to be if you're also getting system two lean on bank one side of the engine, which in that case would be things that would affect the whole engine. 
And so the first thing that would affect the whole engine and cause the whole engine to run lean would be like a bad sensor, like a bad mass airflow sensor or a bad manifold absolute pressure sensor or something like that. If that does happen, usually you get other codes. For example, like a P0103 mass or volume airflow A circuit high. And so if you're getting bank one lean codes, bank two lean codes, and then you get this mass airflow sensor code P0103, then in that case, it's a good idea to go check out that MAF sensor and be sure it's working correctly because the bad sensor can't cause the engine to run lean. The next thing that could cause the whole engine to run lean would be like a blocked air intake or exhaust. And so this would be something like a dirty intake air filter or possibly a bad catalytic converter that's gone bad and starting to clog up the exhaust. If the catalytic converter is clogged up, very likely you'll be getting a lot of catalyst codes on bank two side of the engine. For example, like a P0430 catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank two. If you are getting this code, then it's a good idea to go check out that catalytic converter on bank two side of the engine and be sure it's working correctly. Because the next thing that could cause this is a clogged up air intake or clogged up exhaust. The next thing that could cause the whole engine to run lean would be some kind of problem with the fuel delivery going to the engine. And so this would be something like a weak fuel pump, a bad fuel pressure regulator, or a clogged up fuel filter or something like that. If you have a scan tool, you can go inside there and check what the fuel pressure is going up to the engine at the fuel rail. Look up what the engine should be running at. And then if the pressure is lower than that, then you know there's some kind of problem going on there. For example, say you look up the engine, it says it's supposed to be running at 55 PSI. But when you go to check it, it's running like this, like 42. Then you know there's some kind of problem going on there. But the next thing that would cause the whole engine to run lean would be some kind of problem with the fuel delivery. The next thing that could cause the whole engine to run lean would be a vacuum leak, also called an intake air leak. And basically all the air going into the engine, it should be going in through the throttle body. And if it's not going in through the throttle body, if it's getting around this somehow, like a bad hose or a bad gasket or something like that, then that's going to cause problems. It could throw everything off. So you can't go around and check and be sure that all the hoses look like they're attached good. None of them are cracked or anything like this. There's some different methods to go about testing for a vacuum leak. One method is the smoke machine method, where basically you use a smoke machine to feed smoke into the intake. And then wherever the smoke comes out, you know where the leak's at and you're able to go and fix it. But there's some other methods to go about finding a vacuum leak. But the last thing on the list that would affect the whole engine to run lean is going to be a vacuum leak. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0174 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.